Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Terraform modules inside BrainBoard and how BrainBoard can help you customize the fields, uh, detecting uh, all the parameters when you insert uh, resources inside modules, in and out, and so on. So let's start with uh, creating a region, adding a region into the designer. So once I add a region, I have the possibility to choose uh, from available AWS regions, so here. Uh, and for today, um, I'm going to use a mod the VPC module that comes from the community. So this is the official uh, Terraform registry. All what you have to do is to take the source here, and I'm going to add this module inside Rainbow and I give it a name, AWS VPC. I also have the option to uh, set the version explicitly, which means I want to pin the version into a specific one or keep it latest. When you keep it latest, Brainboard will fetch every time the latest information from the module and brings you an up-to-date uh, parameters. I also have the possibility to customize the icon. So here I'm going to choose an icon for VPC and import my VPC. So once it's imported, it's going to be like any other resource available on the left bar so that I can drag and drop. And when I drag and drop the module, um, and this is like the magical part, I have all the parameters that comes from those, this module. So here I have everything that comes from the module and BrainBoard is able to understand if uh, the parameter is a Boolean, it's a multi-line, a single line, a list, or whatever the type of the, the variables. And also uh, BrainBoard will show me the description of every field. So here when you hover the I icon or when I hover the C more, I have all the information about the, the module. So here I, I added my module. Um, so, and the most important part now is working with the module and add, building on top of it and adding, adding resources in, into it. Uh, and by the way, you have here on my right side, you have um, the Terraform code that will be generated on the fly when I, while I'm designing my infrastructure. So now I'm gonna add a subnet into uh, my module. So here when I drag and drop the subnet, Brainboard detects that I've added this subnet into the module and region, and so adds the, the subnet into the module. But the most important thing is that Brainboard detected that the VPC ID is um, an exported attribute from the module, which is an output from the module. And this information should be put in this field in the subnet. So Brainboard added that for me automatically. I don't do anything manually. All I have to do is to add, add the networking. Let's, for example, here choose any kind of value um, that, that makes sense for my networking. I added this uh, value here, and now I can also uh, customize my uh, VPC module. And I'm going to add here 0, 10.0.0.0 slash 16. This is just as an example. So here I've added the, um, the subnet inside the module and BrainBoard uh, is able to understand this action and put it in the right way. Now to show you how it works uh, when you move resources, I'm gonna add a VPC and this is a normal VPC, not a module. So here I take the VPC, I, I put it here. And, and now I'm gonna drag and drop the subnet from this module, out of this module into this VPC. So I do that and Brainboard detected automatically these changes and updated my Terraform code. So here I have AWS VPC instead of the module and now I have the ID instead of VPC ID and I see it in the configuration here. So you do not need to know uh, the details of how Terraform works to build cloud infrastructures and you do not know, need to be Terraform Guru to build uh, scalable uh, infrastructures. Brainboard uh, helps you um, uh, configure all the parameters that should be inherited automatically and manage it automatically. So here is uh, the, the interaction between the component um, and I can move in and out resources. Brainboard detect these changes and uh, handles the um, configuration of the parameters in the right way. So, and as I'm, I'm adding module here, 
I will be building my own catalog of modules that you can see here. And if I want to use any other module, for example, I want to use this uh, I am account module. I just have to pin it. It will be available on the left bar. I just drag and drop it here. And a Brainboard will give me all the parameters related to it. And I can use it extremely uh, easily. And it's extremely powerful. Uh, one of the questions also that we receive from our users is, okay, the module is imported as square, which is a black box. How can I know uh, what are the resources inside the module? So you can import the module from uh, the Git repo, which will be imported like any other cloud architecture. For our use case, which is uh, AWS VPC, I take here the URL. And I go into Brainboard and I import this module as a simple architecture. So here I import it and I call it a VPC import. And I'm going to import the information. Uh, I'm going to import all the module, all the architecture uh, from this module uh, into Brainboard. So now Brainboard is, is pulling the files, uh, the Terraform files. So, uh, and it will read all these files and generate the graphics. So here uh, I will have the graphics. I'm gonna use the design tab to have the bigger picture. So here, here is all, here are all the resources inside the VPC module. I can see them. Uh, and Brainboard will import also all the variables um, that are contained in this module, but also the locals if, you, if uh, any locals are defined. Uh, the output are important as well. So you have everything here. We have 109 output. So you can uh, just search for any output you want. And we, we saw that Brainboard um, handled the VPC underscore ID. So here are the VPC underscore ID. And I verified it's effectively one of the, the output of the module. And the, the like the, the last part and very amazing one is that Brainboard will bring me also uh, the readme from the repo. So I have every information that comes from this repo, which means from any uh, GitHub uh, repo for your architecture within Brainboard and you can maintain it the way you want. Thank you.